Okay, so the final bit of this first section here to understand recognizing geometric isomers. So the EZ or the old style, usually more in biology, cis trans. So, first off, with geometric, what we need here, we need double bonds. And the reason for this is it prevents what's called free rotation. So normally with the single bond, this on the end, for example, across here, this would constantly be spinning round and turning, whereas the double bond in there would not. It's locked in position with those carbons and it forces kind of an up-down characteristic is the easiest way of thinking of it. So, to give an example for how to work it out and how to spot them. Right, so first off, what we would do, if I just change my pen color, put a dashed line down the middle there through the double bond. Now, the other thing we need is two atoms on the left, or uh, groups rather, if they are bigger going off, but in my case, just the atoms here. They must be different and likewise on the right. So there's two criteria there, the double bond and the atoms on the left must be different. So the chlorine, as we can see, is different to the hydrogen. So these are different and it does not matter at all about across the double bond so I would simply look on the other side as well these are different too so now I can have that EZ isomerism if these were the same on either side you would not be able to have the EZ or the cis trans Right, so what I need to do is first off, I would look up the atomic mass of these numbers. So you need the periodic table for this. Chlorine the 35.5 and hydrogen the one. And what you're looking for is which one is the biggest. The biggest one, you give the high priority. <clears throat> Where this comes from is what's called the Karn Ingold prelog. We may just see it shortened to that Karn Ingold prelog. And basically, it's just saying follow these rules. So don't worry too much about the name for it. And then we would look on the other side as well. Again, hydrogen versus chlorine here. Chlorine has the higher atomic mass than the hydrogen. So we go for the high priority down the bottom. Now what I can see is the high priorities are on opposite sides. So there's one kind of facing up there and the other facing down here, even though they are technically flat in 3D space, but they're opposite across from each other. So in order to name this, what I would do, you've got the two options, either E or Z. E is if they're on different sides, whereas Z is if they're on the same. So they are from German words, uh, 
cannot remember the pronunciation of them. Something like Entgegen and Zusa Salmon. I've probably just destroyed German and called them dog and frog for some reason there. But bad French accent, Z is the same, is the usual, usually the easiest way of remembering it. So all I do with this then, because they are the E priority, they are on different sides there, then this is the E isomer. And if I wanted to give it its full name, then E, one, two, dichloro, same there. But that's the key thing. What you'll likely just be asked in the exam is to spot whether it's the EZ, E isomer or the Z isomer, or maybe you're just asked to draw this before giving the name. Thank you.